This is a Starbucks Pikes Peak roast that I have this morning. And I did make this with my AeroPress. It's about 12 ice cubes that I made from some uh, distilled water to get really pure water. I do like to make my own ice. Uh, this to not affect the flavor of the coffee. Um, I brew the AeroPress right over the cup and the ice uh, for about one minute. Uh, and then I push with pressure through the AeroPress the coffee into the ice. And the hot water cools off quick enough where the ice doesn't melt so fast when you have the proper amount of ice. Uh, this is my almost daily routine. This is a beautiful way to start the day. With a fresh cup of iced coffee. Lately I've been hearing a lot about Moringa tea. I have not tried it, but I heard it's supposed to have some health benefits. So I might try some of that soon. Um, or maybe just some Earl tea. Or, or is it called Earl tea? Earl Grey? Herbal tea? I don't know, I'm not a tea person. You can let me know in the comments. But I'm really curious how y'all start your day. For me, it's my iced coffee with some Splenda and some creamer. Right now it's about 30 degrees Fahrenheit, early morning. But it's gonna get up to 47 today. And it's looking like the upper 40s tomorrow. Sunshine, there is not a cloud in the sky right now. And it's gonna be a wonderful day to get out and do some photography. It's been probably, oof, hmm, at least two months, I think, since I have been able to just come outside with a long sleeve shirt on in the morning and feel the sunshine where it is just not so bitter cold and I can enjoy an iced coffee outside. It's gonna feel like spring today. Um, the groundhog yesterday did not see his shadow, so obviously this is kind of a tease for springtime, but um, at least we can enjoy it and pretend it's springtime right now, huh? Take advantage of the beautiful days that we get. And I love to come out to the yard this time of year Look at the plants. I'll take a few pictures before I go, but you can see that there are the little buds on the end of these trees that have lost all their leaves. Just waiting for the hint of spring to start bursting out and growing. And uh, you know, right now in the middle of winter, all the leaves are gone from the tree, obviously. And then spring will hit. And it will feel almost like within a few days, it will be a explosion of life and color as all of the plants just start to fill in. And of course that will be the start of just a wonderful time for macro photography. And that is when you will find me outdoors every day with my camera, almost rain or shine. Just enjoying the beauty of discovery. Doing macro photography. And so, you know, the winter time, I really do miss it. I miss being out in nature, walking around, discovering things with the, uh, with the macro lens. So as I've said in this previous video, when it was very cold and bitter outside, I still like to try to keep going all year. So I'll practice my macro photography indoors and also outdoors. Just uh, using the winter as a chance to really focus on skills and learning, learning more about my equipment and just what it's capable of.
But yeah, this is just going to be an amazing weekend. I am ready to, I'm ready to get out and hit it. So let's, uh, let's wrap up. Cheers, everybody. And we will see you in the park with the camera.